Good morning, everyone, on this early Tuesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start as uh, yesterday highs were near 75. We may do it again, but today it's going to be a beautiful day. I tell you, this will be the pick of the litter, a real blue plate special out there with lots of sunshine, not nearly as breezy. Yesterday, we had a wind gust in Chattanooga at 43 miles per hour and a wind gust up in Knoxville of 87. So it was uh, very windy, especially once you got up into a little elevation. But uh, now today is going to be a much quieter day and a great one to kind of get out and enjoy. Now, after that, we start to get more unsettled and it's going to get more active as we'll see probably two waves of showers and thunderstorms march in. The first uh, Wednesday night and then the second one probably a line passing through on Friday. So we'll kind of time that out. But uh, first of all, here's a look at uh, what you can expect as we head into, well, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, your forecast as we head into uh, the current temperatures as I moved our supercast, but I didn't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and take a look at your current temperatures and uh, check out what's happening this morning. There you see the readings into the upper 40s to around 50. So a good looking start, briefly cooler. So take along the sweater if you're going to be out and about. But all in all, I think we're going to be in a pretty good shape as uh, skies are partly cloudy, a few passing clouds out there. But all in all, I think we're going to be in uh, pretty good shape as we head into the next several hours. In fact, uh, temperatures are going to uh, start to warm up pretty quickly with that sunshine. There you see that gorgeous afternoon with the highs well into the 70s. 78 Atlanta, 74 Nashville, 74 to 75 around here as that warmth continues to kind of move in from uh, parts of the Gulf states as uh, tonight. Skies remaining fair, upper 40s to near 50 again, and then some more clouds will push back in as we head through the day on your Wednesday. Can't rule out a spotty late shower, but still not a bad day. I think the bark will be worse than the bite. And then as we head into Wednesday night, you can see areas of rain and some thunderstorms marching in, especially toward the midnight hour. It's going to be quite mild, but there you see the leading edge heading through the plateau uh, through the midnight hour, and that will push on through as it uh, looks like temperatures are going to be uh, basically still well above normal as we head into the next couple of days. Today, the best day. Tomorrow, not a bad day. But then as we head into Wednesday night, that's when we're going to start to uh, see uh, the first of two waves of rain. Then a few scattered showers on Thursday. And then Friday, a big strong storm system kicks out of the plains and moves into the middle of Mississippi Valley. And it looks like Friday we'll see a line of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong as well. So that's something we'll continue to watch. Kind of the battle of the air masses as the air behind it is a little bit cooler. Notice some snows breaking out into northern Missouri, and it looks like it'll be snowy for the Great Lakes back into the north and east. But for us, still in the warm sector, highs into the 70s through Friday. And then once that front kicks on through, we dry out just in time for the weekend. It'll be a little bit cooler, 60-ish for highs, but still it'll be nice and pleasant with that sunshine. Overnight lows dropping into the upper 30s by Sunday morning, maybe some mid-30s. So some scattered frost is a possibility. I don't think we're going to see a freeze. Notice the freezing line staying well to our north, but Sunday morning will be our chilliest morning, and from there, temperatures start to rebound again as we start to warm next week. Next week, though, may be our last warm week for a while, and then it's going to get unsettled. Then we may have a big push of chilly air as we get uh, toward the, uh, let's say, the middle of uh, the month, the middle of uh, hmm. Uh, the middle of March, and that will uh, bring temperatures way down perhaps for a two to three week period. So as springtime gets closer, we're going to end those springtime temperatures, but it probably will take another eight to 10 days. So in the next few days, temperatures staying well above normal. And uh, today, once again, very nice and beautiful. And then we'll see two rounds of showers and thunderstorms later this week. So take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Tuesday morning, and uh, we'll talk to you later.